So hello and welcome back. In this video we will talk about comparing numbers. When you want to essentially comparing numbers simply means that essentially you have for example two numbers and you want to compare them to say essentially to specify which one is is a, is greater which one is smaller for example you know that for example 9 is greater than 8 or 7 is less than 8 for example or 32764 is greater than 65 for example and so on and so forth right that's that's essentially comparison or comparing numbers now when you <laughs> When you want to compare numbers, essentially, how do you know that, for example, 9 is greater than 8? Or how do you know that 7 is greater than 8? Or how do you know that this, that this number is greater than this number? You have to, uh, you might, essentially, you might, um, if I gave you these numbers, you might essentially use the signs, um, very easily without even thinking but in your mind essentially you have to you, you already have some some sort of um, um, some sort of um, algorithm in order to decide essentially whether in each case whether you have to use this sign or this sign meaning greater than or less than so the algorithm has to be there and and the and essentially meaning that you need to know how to do it right now in uh, in comparing numbers there is only a couple of different cases that 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 essentially essentially only two cases only two cases with their with their own variations of course that you need to use in order to compare numbers for example Let's say that you have 32,764 and you have 3,400. So let's say that this is five digits and this is four digits, five, six, for example. You have these two numbers. If I ask you which number is, is greater, you already know that a 32,000 is, of course, greater than a 3,000 so you would you would you would instantly say that this number is greater than this number right and so what what is the reason behind that so based on the structure of the based on the structure of the of the decimal number system that we that we studied before that you have essentially all of these place values for example 10 raised to the power 0 1 raised to the power 2, 3, 4, and 5. So you already know that essentially this is the this is the ones place value. Starting from the ones place value, as you move towards the left, the essentially the place value is every time that you move to the left, the the, the value of the place value or the value of the digit in that place value is multiplied by a factor of 10 meaning that over here you have a 1 over here you have a 10 over here you have a 100 over here you have a 1000 and so on and so forth right meaning that meaning that essentially a number that and a, a number that you have let's say that you have a number over here for example you have five let's say that over here this this number over here 32764 so suppose that i take all of these all of these digits two seven and six and four and i substituted them with as with with all zeros right meaning that all of the value of the all of the value of the of these digits I'm, I'm, go, I'm just going to take away so I'm going to write the number as three zero 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 that's a thirty thousand 
and I'm going to do the same not even the same thing I'm going to substitute essentially all of these digits with nines meaning that the maximum value that can be given to essentially to these three digits over here I'm going to give to them meaning that I'm going to write the number as 3999 right so uh, this essentially um, and let's round this number even to a 4000 right so let's say that this is the this is the, the number that I have so this not this digit over here is in the thousandth thousandth place value meaning that you have four of those 1000 essentially four of those bags each of which containing essentially 1000 pebbles four of those pack four of four, four of those bags would be four times four times a thousand which would be four thousand pebbles but in the case of this number this is the ten thousandth place value meaning that even if i took away all of these digits from the number and substituted with them with zeros still i have three of those ten thousand bags and that the essentially three of those bags would be would have a value of thirty thousand because that's three times a ten thousand right so still the number this number is going to win right and you can essentially do the same experiment with all such numbers having different 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 number different numbers of uh, digits essentially so you can see that this number has five digits this number has only four digits and experiment with such cases where in in the case of which essentially there are two numbers one of which has more number of digits than the other one in every essentially in every case the number with the with the higher number of digits is going to be essentially the larger number even if you do something like this meaning that even if you you essentially leave the last digit to what it is and then all of the all of the digits to the right hand side of the last digit you just take them away and substitute them with zeros meaning as much as you can as much as you can you're taking away the value from from that number still that number wins and even if in the case of the the other number with the fewer number of digits you take essentially the last digit for example you take you you leave it as it is even increase it by for example if by one or two doesn't doesn't really matter really uh, meaning that if i took essentially this four over here and even if i substitute substitute that with a nine for example and nine zero 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 for example meaning that I'm, I'm increasing the number from 3456 to a 9000 still this number is going to to win meaning still the number is greater because you have one digit essentially in this number there is one more digit than this number right so in all of these cases whenever there you have two numbers one of which has a higher number of digits that that number with the higher number of digits is going to be gr the greater number because it it's it just a matter of uh, the place value right so this way essentially you could always i mean you could always um, specify if you have two numbers you can specify which number is the greater number because and even you don't even have to look at the digits the digits are not important only count the number of only count the number of uh, place values you see or the number of digits basically so in this number i have five digits in this number i have four digits so this number is going to be greater even if this even if i essentially i wrote this number as three zero 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 and even if i i substituted all of these digits with nines of course more than essentially weightier than nine there is no there is no digit in the in the decimal number system so i take all of these digits away and 
increase them to all the way up to nine so i write this as a nine 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 still you can see that this is around ten thousand this is thirty thousand so still this number is three times larger than this number so this is going to win so there is there is no need to there is no need to pay attention to the digits themselves only count the digits and when you have basically the number with the higher number of digits is going to always win right so that's essentially one thing so this is case number one case number two let's say that you have you have essentially a bunch of numbers and they have uh, the same number of digits so let me give you a, a concrete example so a concrete example would be for example 4875 4875 and 3542 would be 3542 okay now you see that essentially the number of digits in these two numbers you have four digits here and four digits here right so based on this based on the condition that they used before we cannot decide which number is is is, is greater which number is smaller and uh, of course our logic in mathematics is binary meaning either something is greater or is smaller there is nothing there is there is no there is nothing in between so that way in mathematics you can simply decide essentially for example in this case what i'm going to do i'm going to decide which number is is greater or larger basically <coughs> And then the same logic you can use in order to um, in order to decide which number is smaller if you if you essentially turn that logic around right because greater and smaller are are opposite ideas in mathematics of course right <clears throat> now let's say that I want to decide which number is greater and of course the number of digits I cannot use because I have the same number of digits so what I need to do, because I'm going for I'm going for the greater number, I have to go for something in that in essentially in both of the numbers that contributes the most to the value of the number, right? Because I'm going for the greater number, I have to go for something in both of the numbers that that that, that essentially contributes the most to the value of the of the two numbers now you know that essentially based on the structure of the decimal number system the larger place value essentially the more that you move towards the left or essentially the larger place values uh, contribute the most to the value of the number so i have to move all the way to the left meaning the last place value in the number to essentially to decide which number is greater so you see over here that the number is that this number over here is a that the digit is four this digit over here is a three which means that this number is greater than this number then you don't have to consider the rest of the digits even if i take essentially all of these digits and turn them to zeros meaning if i write the number as four zero 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 and even if i move i i take all of these three digits and then make them make a nine out of out of them so that's three nine 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 right still four thousand is greater than three thousand nine ninety nine right which essentially indicates that you don't have to worry about these three digits you can just you don't even have to look at them just specify the greatest place value in the number which is in this case is the is the thousands place value and then compare the digits in those two place values whichever one is is the larger digit that number essentially that number is the is the larger number or the greater number right 
so that's essentially how you can decide which number is greater assuming that you have the same number of digits now there are there is of course there is of course some there are some cases that you have the same again you have the same number of digits but then something like this happens for example 4875 and 4542 right so you have in this case essentially you have four digits here you have four digits here again you have to use the same logic that we used here but then the last place value in this number and the last place value in this number if i compare them in both cases i have fours which means that as far as the greatest place value in the numbers are concerned there is no difference between the two numbers that's a 4000 that's also a 4000 so then logically what i have to do is that i have to move one place value to the right and which is essentially the next largest place value in the in both the numbers i have to i have to move one one place value to the right and then compare those two digits essentially which in this case again you have an 8 over here you have a 5 over here so this number wins and this is the greater number again you don't have to worry about these two digits you can just ignore them there is no um, there is no need to worry about these two digits or again basically what could happen is that let's say you have you have four you have two numbers for example 4875 4875 and 4889 4889 again in this case you see in both cases essentially you have four digits essentially for both of the numbers if i move to the last place value in both the numbers the, di the digits are the same so i i cannot decide based on this which number is greater i move one place value to the right again i have the same digits so again i have to move one place to the right so i have a seven and eight over here so that means that this number is the larger number right and you can keep doing the same thing for example four seven four eight seven five and four eight seven nine again you see that four digits here four digits here so move to the last place value in the numbers the same digits the next digits are the same the next digits are the same but then the last digit in the two numbers here you have a nine you have a five over here so that means that essentially this number is four larger than this number right so that's essentially the idea of uh, comparing numbers very simple and there is nothing complicated about that now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to write a couple of exercises for you and you can just give them a go and 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 try them so these are the exercises in each case a b c and d you can uh, you can specify which number is the largest number or which number is the smallest number you can compare them i hope that this um, video was helpful i'll see you in the next video and thank you